guys, it's Jaina and I'm coming to you with something a little bit different than my normal video content. I'm going to be doing a fashion and like grocery store haul, but like home decor. That could be a fashion and home decor haul. Huh? So I am going to be showing you clothing items that I got from the mall, like mall stores and then consignment stores or stores that you don't normally find in a mall area. So we're going to start with what I got at the mall basically stuff I paid full price for and go into stuff I got on a deal and don't mind my hair situation um you know it's second day hair it's not really cooperating with me and we're in a messy bun so we're just gonna jump in I'm gonna start with jeans I am wearing a pair of the jeans I got they are American Eagle I also bought this pair of American jeans are so hard to show on camera without doing a try on and it's midnight <laughs> So these are the American Eagle Super Stretch Skinny Jeans. Not the super skinny, just the regular skinny. The ones I'm wearing right now are the super skinny, where they're kind of like jegging material, but I liked the wash on these. So I just kind of have, I don't know, what would you call this? It's like a grayish green fade. They're really sturdy. I love American Eagle Jeans. So these are the Skinny by AEO Denim. They're the Super Stretch, and I bought them in a size 10 long. I love the American Eagle. It has different options for different people, so it's not just one length for everyone. You have long for people who are taller. You have short for people who are shorter. You have regular for people who are just special little snowflakes and can fit into the normal length of jeans. The next pair of jeans I got are from Forever 21. They were on sale. They're just a light wash. I don't have the buttons buttoned on any of these, that's super trashy. They're just a light wash, high-waisted denim. These are unfortunately super short on me, they're not the longest pant. Uh, they fall above my ankle, so I just kind of roll them and turn them into capris or longer capris or, you know, high waters. That's what my mom calls them sometimes. The next pair I got, they're from Q. These are... A different material almost like dress pant material but thicker and at Q if you don't know they have different brands so this one is wax jean oh by the way the jeans from forever 21 were a size 10 they are size 10 but they're labeled a 31 so 31 waist these are a size 9 they're just these nice maroon pants. Nothing too special about them. They're kind of more on the purple side of maroon rather than the red. If you can hear, they're kind of dress pants material. They're a bit tight. <laughs> they did not have any size higher than nine in these though. Um, but they work. They do loosen up as the day goes on just by the material. So the next couple things I have are dresses. The first one is from Q as well I saw this and I absolutely had to have it the brand is active USA it's this nice kind of orangey brown striped dress so it has like a I don't know baby puke brown orangey color with gray stripes it's just a little shifty dress so it's not too short not too long and it has this cute little cutout in the back and it's just like high neck, almost turtleneck, but not really. I thought it was really cute. It's lightweight and it's fall colors, but it's like the springy type dress. So I thought this would work for really any season. Just depends on what you put with it. The next dress is definitely more summer or springy. I don't regret it. Um, it is from Forever 21. And this, I don't even know. This is a maxi dress. It's very confusing. I really, this should be in a try on video. If you want me to do an do a try on video of any of these items let me know in the comments down below and I will do a fashion try on but this is what it looks like it's just this really pretty long maxi dress with like purple white and blue flowers the back let me just show you it's really difficult to show it's wide open but it has these ties and you just tie it in the back so this goes around like where you're below your shoulders and then you tie it so it's even tighter and then you have a little bit more open so it's wide open. 
so wear a big dough with it if you have small enough boobs you can go braless it also has a little rubberized thing on the elastic so it can stick to you it's really really comfy it's really nice it's really long so it's great for you taller girls shorter girls this might not be the dress for you they might not sell it anymore it's been a few weeks and forever 21 rotates their stuff so often but if you can find this it's so comfy it's a nice material for forever 21 that doesn't belong here so if you guys don't know forever 21 sells plain spaghetti strap shirts for really cheap and they were having a i think it was four for five sale or whatever and so i got them in a few different colors and i have the tag on one i wanted to leave the tag on so they're normally 190 so you're saving a couple bucks so i got it in black and they're just normal they have different one of these has a different neck type so this is like a v-neck um oh this is the one with a different neckline this is it's a black v neck and this one is like a blush colored um just normal rounded neckline and this is a more orangey rounded neckline at this perfect for fall and then i believe this one is another v-neck and this is a more mauvey blush color the ones i've worn are the orangey one and the mauvey one and they're both beautiful i love them and they're a great deal for forever 21 things and these are like super tight and they run small so i got all mine in large except for the black one which is extra large and it's still tight on me and i normally wear a medium let's talk about the one last thing that i got from forever 21 this was 18 dollars, and it's this olive colored sweater and it has the little like lace in the front that's super popular right now and it's just a normal like knit sweater with the you know this on the front it's olive it looks gray a lot of the time in certain lights it looks gray but then like when i put it on it looks very olive up against other things it's kind of confusing it's like that stupid dress oh i have three <laughs> that's from my closet so I got this in a large, so it's a bit more comfy, cozy. I wore it, and it's super warm and really nice. There was one night where it was cold here. I live in Arizona, and it's going to be 90 degrees in freaking October this whole week. So the last thing I got from the mall is from Q as well, and the brand is Omniance. And it's this kind of mustardy orange loose tank top and it's really soft and it kind of is already getting pills and I've only worn it three times so it's super cheap I think this was seven dollars but it's really nice it's really complimenting to because I have a pale neutral complexion so it's really really soft and comfy it just it's doing like the pills already and I don't know if it will ever stop so now I'm going to move on to what I got from consignment stores and I'll try to tell you what consignment stores I got them from. A couple of things in here are from a boutique in Loma Linda, California. I'll let you know the boutique name. They do have a website. I will link the website down below. You know, future Jaina, editing Jaina, remember to link that because I am, you know, we're terrible at remembering things. All right, so I'm going to start out with this. I found this Jessica Simpson wallet at Turnstile. I think this was $16. It has two compartments. I'm going to show you, but I do have information in here. So the first compartment, it's just open, and it has two little slits on the side that you can put things in, which I have things in. And then it has a zipper pocket to put change in. Now this is where... Okay. I think we're good. So this is where your license go, where I'm covering, and it has all these pockets for cards and then on the sides here you can put receipts and other things in here so I put receipts and like what else is here I have receipts and my uh, student ID on one side and I keep like stamp cards or actually no I thought I put stamp cards where are my stamp cards oh they're with where I put my cash that makes sense I have more like my voter ID library card fingerprint ID things like that so this was a great deal. I needed a new wallet and I loved this because it stays pretty small despite being packed full of stuff. So the next few things I got, they are shoes. So I found these also at Turnstile on the same trip. 
they're little tan wedge boots and they just zip up and they're they're le like full of leather but they feel so nice um the style's Courtney I don't know what brand it is unfortunately oh here we go oh it's from shoe dazzle so these are shoe dazzle Courtney in nine and a half they have a nice little zipper on the side. They're really sturdy and nice. They smell a little weird. They're nice to wear. I enjoy them. They're not very comfortable. So if you like shoes like this, I need to get uh, Dr. Scholl's inserts for the bottom because they hurt my toe. And it's not even that big of like a heel. I have other heels that are way more comfortable. But these are really nice. I love them. I think these were 12 or $20, like cheap for shoes. Next things I got, I needed shoes for when I went to a kids camp and they need to be comfy kind of exercise shoes. So I found these Nike Air Max shoes and these were of course like $24. They were pretty expensive. I spent a lot on that trip. But they're super comfy. They feel so good and they were so nice at the camp because I was standing like 18 hours a day just standing and walking and they're really lightweight and sturdy really nice they have pretty good traction i'm not the greatest so i wouldn't go like playing basketball or anything in them but for like walking or you know standing around with kids they're great next pair of shoes i got from urban exchange which is um just a consignment store near me and these are toms they're in a size nine i don't know what style they are but they look like this and they kind of have a more waterproof material than canvas and the bottom if you can tell it's more rubber sold instead of being cardboardy and it has a little bit more traction but also like no traction at all and they're a little bit more well made it feels like these are probably way more expensive on Tom's website I really like them and they are pretty waterproof like they're more waterproof than regular Tom's they're a bit more like less comfortable but Tom's are like like slippers that you can wear out in public so I love these and these were pretty darn good deal all right so everything else we'll talk about what I got consignment shopping and first I'm gonna go with jeans so first thing I got I went to turnstile and I wanted a pair of capris and I found them these are from solo denim lab they are the Madison slim crop and they are in a size 29 31 of forever 21 and a 29 elsewhere they're just standard capri with a cuff nothing too special they're comfortable very lightweight and cheap i feel like they're gonna fall apart after i wear them a lot in the spring but they're good for now and then these i'm super happy about i swear i got some other no i didn't okay i only got one pair of jeans on that trip so these are bullhead denim they're their high rise skinniest and these are in a size 9 I'm a 9 to 10 and they are ripped so they have this ripped detailing on both legs and they're super like it's super nice because it has little like I don't know tufts of denim in between the rips which makes it look more natural unless like I took a razor to it they're really comfy and they're high rise and they hug my hips really nicely without being too like they don't squeeze me they don't stretch very much which is nice because they have like the perfect amount of hug and they're lightweight they're a little bit shorter on me so I do cuff them or wear them as high waters basically so this next item I did not get from a consignment store I ordered it online from the app wish which I did a haul on and this was something I was waiting on it's this black t-shirt and it has lace a lace up front on it it has I don't know powder on it or something the material is like a silky almost underwear like material soft polyester latexy very lightweight material kind of cheap feeling but the seams feel nice that's all I care about it's really nice it came and I had to lace it up myself which is not a huge deal I prefer that because otherwise it's weird and laces are very long but you can if you wanted to get really weird you could tie them like a choker tie them in the front or just put them down the front of your shirt which is I which is what I did and it's just really nice lightweight this was I think five dollars so pretty good deal okay 
let's go to the boutique next. So this was from the Nectar Clothing Boutique, which they have a store in Loma Linda. They also have a store online. So this, I don't know what it's called. It was just this nice blush mauve striped tank top. It has a high neck and it kind of fans out at the bottom without being like high low. So it's just really loose and really summery and I really, really like it. The next thing I got, I do not have it buttoned up all the way, but it's this kind of powder blue and white striped buttoned up shirt. And I thought this would be super nice to wear with leggings in the fall and just kind of look relaxed, comfortable, but still kind of put together. Everything else, yes, everything else now is from consignment stores. This one, this is from Turnstyle. It's a nice, um, it's from Grace and it's in a small and I fit into it surprisingly and it's loose on me. So this is a nice black t-shirt with the v-neck. It's like there's no seam visible so it's like seamless almost. And I just thought it was really nice. It's kind of heavier so it's better for fall and winter. I would not wear this in the spring or summer. It's too heavy. But it's really nice and I'm really glad I got it. This is from, I got this at Urban Exchange, again another consignment store, but it is from Wet Seal. It's this navy blue and green plaid button up and it has a little gray hood on it and it has, you know, the little strings hanging down. It's super warm and comfy. I have the sleeves cuffed, but you can also roll them down. It's just comfy, nice for, you know, winter and fall and I thought that'd be a great investment. It was cheap. So the next item is a little bit weird, so let me get it ready to hold up. This I got at Urban Exchange as well. It is a Michael Kors sweater, and it's one of those cowl neck in a way. This is a medium, so it's just a nice black sweater. It has this turtleneck, but it's really, really loose, so it's like a scarf almost looking on you, and it drapes to the front. And then it's long sleeve, and at the bottom it has fringe. And fringe is super in style this season, along with these big slouchy necks. And so I'm super excited to get to break this out and wear it to parties. I'll probably wear this New Year's Eve, maybe, unless I get a nicer dress. But it's super soft, and really high quality. Of course, I love Michael Kors. On that same trip, I got this kind of taupe brown colored long sleeve shirt from Miss Ope. and it has this lace, it has lace at the top and it's see through and it has little studs on it. It's just a nice little shirt, nothing too elaborate, just I thought it was kind of nice, um, more fancy looking casual. Last thing I got is a cover and this is like a scoop, I don't know what we call this, it's from Pronto dry clean only. Okay, I'm not gonna dry clean my clothes, sorry. Um, it has kind of like the draping in the front, if you can see. And it's long sleeve, it's more fitted at the sleeves, and then it does have a fringe at the bottom. So I'm super excited to wear this. It's a nice cranberry color and white. This is great for fall and winter. I could see myself wearing this on Thanksgiving, so I'm super excited about that. Alright, so that is all that I got from the consignment stores and shopping at the mall other than Victoria's Secret, which I am not showing you my underwear, sorry. So the next thing we're going to do are like home items. So the first thing, I have them down here because you could totally see them here. First thing are these Starry Lights 10 Warm LED Lights. These were in like the dollar section at Target. They're $3 and they're just cute. I have these like on Amazon for like $15, $20. Mine are a lot longer. They're six feet and these, well these are six feet apparently. Um, mine must have been 12 or 20 then. They're long because I wrote love in the lights on my wall in college. But I thought these would be super cute put up around my makeup vanity because they don't need to be plugged into the wall, they're battery operated. So I'm very excited about those. I also, oh my gosh, let me pull a couple of these up. So at Walmart I found this little mug and it says hello lovely and just pretty script and I freaking 
love the word lovely. I thought this was super cute and it has a little lid on the top because I like bringing tea and coffee with me in the car in the mornings and I tend to spill it. So this is nice to have just a little lid to keep me from, you know, as I'm walking in the car, dumping half my tea or coffee on the floor. That sound is paper inside of it. I haven't used it yet. The next thing, this is from Target. It smells absolutely amazing. It is maple pumpkin souffle and it is signature soy uh, candle and it burns for 50 hours apparently. This is like... Like I'm almost vanilla-y, but not. It has that pumpkin-y, I think it's the maple that I'm, it's not overly maple or pumpkin. It's like the perfect mixture. It smells like fall. I heard it actually, ooh, it's so much stronger in the lid. Yeah, I heard you're supposed to smell it from the lid. Mmm, it smells so good. I haven't burned it yet because I'm currently working on Vanilla Bean Noel Bath and Body Works candle from last season. But this I'm super, super, super excited to burn all the time. And I got my mom hooked on this smell. I need to buy like seven more of these because I'm gonna go through it. Alright, last but absolutely not least, this is from Target. It is this faux fur blanket. It's a beautiful gray. It's super, super soft on this side. And then here, it's like a super soft material too. And it's so cozy, comfy, and so warm. This was on sale for $25. It was normally $35, I believe, worth every single penny. It's so warm and soft. It does shed a little bit. I'm sure that'll stop soon. Hopefully, I don't want to have full blankie. But it's so warm and so nice. And this week is going to be so hot. And just seeing this makes me just want to cozy up under it. Like just holding it is making me sweaty. But it's just making me so excited for winter. Knowing that soon I will get to cuddle up under this. And just be so warm and cozy and not overly hot. So I'm so, 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 so excited for winter. And this is just making me all the more excited. Along with this freaking candle. Like bring on Thanksgiving. Bring on the holidays. Ooh, I am getting more pumpkin the more I smell it. Yeah, you do smell the pumpkin, but it's very sweet. And it's not an overly pumpkin-y smell. Anyway, that is all that I have for you today, guys. I am so happy you sat through this whole video and watched it. Congratulations, you made it to the end. Uh, just a few quick things before you click away. If you would like more videos of fashion and home decor haul, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you want to see a fall fashion video including any of the items today if there are any items that you would like to see on me like modeling in a way then just please leave them in a comment down below so that I know what you guys want to see also if you'd like a look a look if you guys would like a video on the look that I'm wearing on my face today let me know and I will be sure to make one for you as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I am trying to put out new videos every single week. Um, you know, so far I think I put out two this month, which is great. So um, I'm also working on getting new editing software. It's expensive and I kind of spend all my money on makeup and not editing. Also, if you guys would like a September favorites video, September, October favorites video this month, let me know and I'll be sure to include at least one of every item that I have been loving and also leave me your foundation recommendations because I need a new foundation <laughs> and I will let you know the uh, I don't like the Bare Minerals Bare Skin and the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation it oxidized so much on me and then it completely broke apart in my T-zone where I was oily it just broke apart so they say it's for oily skin <laughs> it's not I could talk more about that in another video if you would like comment that down below as well <laughs> all right guys this outro is getting way too long. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching this. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all next video. Bye.